Alright, so I decided to make a video uh, just to stop the speculation and the emails and the messages on the forums, on ECF and others. Uh, have I been in jail? Yes, I've been in jail. I've been incarcerated, okay? It happened, and guess what? I'm out. Like I used to. What's my rig? Got one of those uh, VV uh, Gripper. I got this at uh, Mad Vapes. I think they got them in electronic sticks too. Uh, it's great. Takes a single 18650. I got a uh, 510 to 801 shorty from electronic sticks. Uh, and I've got the Bogue. XL uh, 801 Fusion I'm kicking and uh, like dumbasses I punch them myself with this I got a Finiac Naked Tank XL size with the stainless steel end cap, stainless steel drip tip I'm vaping Tampa from uh, Vapor Station and uh, it's good to have it back. It's been a long time since I've had, you know, my my juices and my uh, e-liquids. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was rough. Uh, the, I did something. Police came to my home to search my home. I went on my roof while they searched my house. I was up on my roof for probably three hours while they searched my house, so I started vaping. They're backing out of my driveway. They see the vapor coming up over the top of my roof, and I'm incarcerated. I was supposed to go in for 14 days, but due to, you know, good behavior, it turned into a year and a half. So, when they were processing me, they took all my e-liquids, they took my mods, they took my PVs. I had a lot of stuff on me. And, uh, you know, so I'm just thinking, how am I going to keep vaping in here? First thing, I got a job in the kitchen so that I could get the raw materials that I require to keep vaping. Things, you know, that I can use to make mods, things that I can trade. Um, like, uh, you know, even pieces of metal that I could pry off of things. Uh, so, to make shanks and stuff, I made a... I kind of started a little business in there. I would, uh, where I could get pieces of metal from the trays, um, things that I could trade with guys that they could make shanks out of. Uh, sometimes I would just give them straight up knives. I got this. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Raven Shanks. That's what they used to call me. Uh, nice spelling on Raven. Tell a 300 pound dude that you just gave a shank to uh, that he spelled Raven wrong. You know, that gave me some leverage uh, to actually trade for cigarettes. No, I didn't start smoking, but I needed to make my own liquids and I was rendering my own tobacco bases out of them. Uh, I was able to make some e-liquids out of some cigarette tobacco, some vegetable oil, a little maple syrup just to help it because it was awful. So I did I did what I had to do to keep vaping. I took the, I was taking filaments out of light bulbs uh, and, you know, making addies and uh, made it, made cardos out of old chapsticks and uh, sock lint. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. But, you know, you do what you got to do when you're in there and it's tough. It was brutal, you know. My first cellmate, Donnie, uh, four days in, his, you know, doing his time. He got a job in the workshop. They make furniture and stuff. Four days in, they find him dead in the uh, workshop. And it was because a bureau fell on him. It, I guess it tipped over and fell on him. My next cellmate was this guy named Juan. Uh, about a week later, they find him dead out in the yard. Just dead. And... Um, the weird thing is that actually a, a bureau fell on him too, 
they were moving that bureau out of the workshop and um, they tripped and it fell on him. So I think everybody, uh, everyone in the cell block was sleeping a little easier knowing that that bureau was off the premises, you know. So when Juan died, I went through all the stuff and took all the soups and everything and uh, I found a smartphone in a bag of coffee. So I held on to that the whole the whole time I did time, and um, the really the the thing that got me through doing all that time uh, was I could watch YouTube on my uh, on my phone, and so I could keep up with uh, people's reviews and I could see all the awesome new stuff coming out while I'm vaping on a hunk of crap I made out of bullshit. So you know watching these reviews kind of kept me up to date and uh, you know you need that hope you know of a better vape and uh, I couldn't wait to get out so in a way it kind of made me you know try to be better in there so I could get out sooner and uh, so I was watching a lot of uh, P. Busardo's reviews and then one night in uh, solitary I did a lot, a lot of time in solitary and uh, I realized his name should be F Phil Bocardo because dude fills a lot of Bogue Cardos. Phil's got a lot of great reviews and you know that kept me busy. Of course Grim Green. Uh, I want to actually thank Nick because I did hear through the grapevine that he tried to come in and visit me and he snuck an Ego and a Cardo on it in a, cre a cream filled donut and of course they confiscated it and they you know took him off the property so nice try Nick thanks So um, as soon as I got out, I realized I never want to be without my vaping stuff, you know. I started looking into uh, a lot of these new mods that are coming out are being made out of like, you know, like the Xenesis and Zen. He's making a lot of stuff out of surgical grade stainless steel and titanium, you know. Stuff that your body accepts. So that kind of, you know out of kind of the excitement of being out I went and got uh, implants um, I have an Addy in my neck and um, I wish I didn't do it it's not uh, as cool as I thought it was gonna be I thought it would just be like it would eliminate anything if I could just naturally vape. That way if I get locked up again, what are they gonna do, you know? I could I could just keep vaping. I got I'm thinking big battery time and I got twenty five five hundred battery. Not glad I did that. Uh without getting into it, uh changing batteries is uncomfortable. Uh, I'm wishing I had chosen one with not the girth of that ba particular battery. And, um, you know, I, I did, I got the implants because I never, I, to get rid of that memory of not having my vape stuff while I was locked up. And what I ended up doing with this b battery was reminding myself of something else I want to forget about that happened while I was locked up. There's also some bad kind of side effects. Let me see if I can do it. See that? Can you see that? I'm vaping my spit. I can vape my spit. Zero flavor. Uh, I'm gonna give it nothing on the throat hit. I didn't ask for that part. You know, there's a review for implants. Don't do it. Let them get it better. But, you know, maybe future vapors that have implants, uh, theirs will be kick-ass uh, because I was the frickin' guinea pig.
You gotta drink juice to vape, to use it. I'm not even using it. You see, I'm using this. It burns. So, uh, it's good to be out. It's good to be back. Uh, don't get implants. Uh, enjoy your vaping. Don't take it for granted. That's all I got. I'm Raven Vapes 5v510. And, uh, vape hard.